<laughs> Son of an editing and welcome to the podcast. I am your host today, Masamuni113, also known as Stefan. And today I have tied up Ryan and put him in my basement. And you will not see him until next week. But with me today I do have the general, Steve. Hey everyone. And I don't even know how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry, Dan. But I've also got Dan. Hey, hey. Not too Dan. Well, is it Natu? I should really pay attention when Ryan says people's names. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. It just says Dan normally. But yeah, it has nice slash name. Oh yeah, I, I always pronounce people as your username as well as your actual name. Right, it's a yeah. lot easier. Well, Discord and Mel and too, but to... games and Hell's Nights are, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. And with today's podcast, it is a special one, people. It's the E3 special. Seeing that it was last week. Yep. It's also Father's Day. It's also what? It's also oh Father's yeah, Day. we're recording on Father's Day. I forgot about that. Yeah, but. yeah, it's Father's Day today. Yeah, so we're recording Father's Day and special E3 podcast. It all sounds good to us. Woo. It does. So, did any of you actually have watch it live or anything online, or I we get anywhere else? I watched the Xbox conference, and that's about the only one I managed to find time to watch. If I'm honest. I was pretty busy over the week, so I didn't really find time for this. But I enjoyed it. I really, um, I think my favourite moment, I think it's everyone's favourite moment, if anyone's watching it, is be when Keanu Reeves decides to turn up and says, um, yeah, comes up on the Cyberpunk 2077 one. That was really good. I enjoyed that. You know the guy that... I have to admit, I, I didn't... Yeah. I didn't watch it, but I know all about that. Yeah. But, um, as the podcast normally goes, we will get to that at the end. And yes, the sure. great fascination of it. But let's go with what was played. And What's being played? Let's start with the general. What have you played this week, general? Um, played a couple of different games. Of course, I'm playing XCOM 2 with my Let's Play series that's on the channel at the moment, which is garnering some views. I wish it had a bit more, but it's getting there. Okay. Slowly. But surely. Yeah, we all start somewhere. We do, yeah. And the other game, which I think you guys have played on the PC, I don't I don't play it on PC, I play it on Xbox. But I've been playing in Division Two. I've been enjoying my time with Division Two and Ooh, taking it Division easy. Two, and yes. We've been doing Division. Yeah. Um, because we're setting up the guild, our own Amy Guild thing. Yeah, we've yeah. got the Amy Guild on Division. Oh. I wish it was cross-platform. Mm. Well, I'll be getting it on PC as well soon, so don't worry about it. I'll be able to join well, you. Yeah, I basically picked it up this Good. week due to the fact that it was fifty percent off. Yeah. yeah, it was on sale on the Yeah, it's a free weekend, place. wasn't it? But yeah, it's on sale. Uh, it's a, um, Epic's also got a sale on for it. Oh, right, okay. I might have a look. Oh, uh, well, Epic, I can, and you play itself. Both of them have got sales on. Okay. Due to E3 event. Yeah. So, um, how are you finding Division, uh, General? Um, I'm enjoying it. It's much better, it's a bit more refined than the first one was on its initial release. Um, I'm liking the different level, the different layers to it, I suppose, because getting to level 30 is the main goal, and then of course they change it up a bit. Um, I already know a little bit about what to expect once I hit level 30, with the whole like new faction that comes in, the fact you got to work through your world tiers, which is pretty good. Um, what was the last thing I did? I did the last thing I did was the stronghold, the first stronghold, yeah. which is yeah, in like, I'm not uh, that high yet. Which is uh, like I'm just um Well I'm thirty I'm but nine, I'm not I'm think I'm level. Yeah, I'm level twenty seven, I think. You can hit the first stronghold about level twenty six if you've got the right gear. Yeah. I did it with one of my friends. It didn't take us too long if I'm honest, and I didn't we didn't find it that difficult, but I suppose it's because of the the gear that we've got. Because some of the gear that we picked up, um, we were with one of our other friends and we were on World Tier World Tier Five. Or something, I can't remember. We were on one of the world tiers with him because he'd already yeah. got to level 30, so we got some decent stuff from running with him. Ah. So it kind of worked uh-huh. out a little bit. So it meant that we could do the first stronghold quite easily and quite efficiently, which has just two people. We didn't even need an extra person or anything. Well, uh, I've got to but, 30, but I haven't started doing the stronghold, so I'm planning on doing a slightly different route than mine. Okay. 
Um, basically, I'm going to collect all the control points and all the shade tech first. Then I'm going to go for the strongholds. Yeah. It's not a bad plan. That way, you've got all the gear. You, well, you've got all the perks you need. Then, haven't you? Oh well, yeah. Basically, I'll have all I perks. I just collect everything as I go. Yeah. I've done all the side quests, so I plan to do side quests, uh, control yeah. points, and then get the shade tech out of the way. Then I'm going to start turning in the stronghold. So I get the once I've done the strongholds, then the tier system comes in. So yeah. I'm planning to do everything first, then the tier system. That's what I was thinking of doing as well. Yeah. Except we just thought we'd try. We just thought we'd try the stronghold to see how well we'd do, and we managed all right, if I'm honest. But yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Um. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we've all got. Our Sounds own like you're doing well in it. Yeah. Sorry, I've been talking about the same thing. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. It's yeah. fine. We've been, yeah, because we've been we're all playing. If it's the game off. we've all been playing, it's the game we've all yeah. been playing. Uh, the other thing that <laughs> gives us a bit more to talk about, it makes it a bit easier as well. Yeah, it does. I'm yeah. sure everyone knows what division is. The um. Online shooter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, apocalyptic. Sort of like doomsday cool. scenario. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We've also been playing tabletop sim. That was stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. We've also been playing tabletop. Um. So I'm assuming you're going to be talking about tabletop then. Oh then, yeah. Uh, we've covered division. So yeah, we're. Well, what was the game we've been playing on table? It's the house in the hell or something, is it? Yeah, we um, played House in the Hill, and we've also played Munchkin, I believe. Yeah, we had a game of Munchkin. But yeah, we played two games of House in the Hill. Um, okay. What was kind of... It was weird seeing it all on like a PC platform, because we played it yeah. in person before. So it was nice to see it with all scripts and stuff, because otherwise I didn't like the game. The simulator itself annoys me when you're trying to build, mm. but Ryan has got the scripts for it, so That's we've good. been playing... Makes it better. Yeah, Ryan found it on the workshop. Yeah, the workshop scripts. So everything's there, we just need to work it out. And you was the traitor's bastard yesterday. Just because I worship the alien overlords does not mean nothing. Mm. And plus I am the traitor's bastard no matter which position you put me in. Mm. I know, yeah. <laughs> See, even he knows. The general the, knows not to trust me. played House in Hell's Day? Um, I think... I'm pretty sure we've played it, right? And the table, the actual yeah, table. The table. Yes, oh, the um, you start off with the front door, the foyer, yeah, yeah, the yeah. stairs, and then you got to build and you gotta explore. The yeah. young, which whoever's got the youngest character goes first. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, we've definitely played it, and I know not to you explore the mansion. I know not to trust omen. you, Steph, because you just cause trouble everywhere. Alright, that's my that's my plan for everything. Just cause as much chaos yeah, and uh, mayhem as you go. But yeah, it's according to the <laughs> makes life fun. Uh, well, when we were yeah. exploring the work, well, Ryan's been exploring the workshop and found pretty much most of the tabletops yeah. are in there. So, that's good. figuring out which ones work and which ones don't. But yeah, you can play Munchkins and all sorts. Yeah, the, the Munchkins yeah, works we just in a not way, to do but it needs the rules for all the expansions. Yeah. yeah. If we stuck to like yeah. basic Munchkins or Space Munchkins or something, that would have been a lot simpler. Yeah, I imagine it would have done. Yeah. But it's got all the decks and everything. All the expansions, so you can play. Yeah. So you can have for a more interesting right. play then. Yeah, you can decide what patch you want at the beginning. So, how was your experience of playing House in the Hill on tables, um, top simulator, there, Dan? Um, I kind of, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it, but I kind of did, to the to a point, and then when we had that treasure hunt thing, it was just like, what the hell. <laughs> oh yeah, the first time we played, um, none of us were the traitor. We had to go find the treasure. Yeah, none of us are the traitor. Go find the treasure. The last person survives wins. The la the the person to find the treasure was the winner. Okay. Yeah. Um. Second time, stuff was stuff on both games. Because you found the treasure <laughs> and you were the traitor. Yeah. Yep. 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 The the alien overlords overtook all your minds and took you away. Well. Shame you were, like, killing yourselves in rooms and shit. To be honest, I killed half that freaking spaceship and then got control with Duncan running around not being able to free me because he's too far away. It's like, right. god damn it. And then Ryan was in the basement anyway. It's like, god damn it. <laughs> Ryan was stuck in the basement at all times. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, It was better than we expected and... Yeah, I'm getting to the end of the division, so I'm kind of enjoying it. That's good. Um, just trying to get the finishing pieces in play, and then I'll be done. What have you yeah. been playing, Steph? 
Ooh, um, that's a tricky one because technically I've just played the same two games all week. Also, but I have also played play um, Bodlands. Yeah, yeah, true. But I, I have spoke about LOL before, but I have been playing Bodlands two as well this week. Oh, oh um, well, they did. They released some new DLC, didn't they? Yeah, the um, the uh, it's meant to fill in the gap between the the number three. Yeah, the pre two. Um, no, no. no. Oh, the new three one that's something it's, like, three, it's the bridge between two and three, basically. Oh, okay. It's the DLC for uh, explains the middle bit. Um, yeah. But um, I am nowhere near that because I must at one point removed all my data for Borderlands, so I'm basically at scratch. Uh, uh, and now I've remembered how bad I am actually at the game. Um, I like <laughs> I love Borderlands the pieces, especially like Scooter and whatnot, and Teddy yeah. Tina. Tiny Tina. I have to be honest, I never really got into Borderlands. After it's one of them games. It's on my own. I can't play it. Yeah. I need. I, I want a team. I, I. It's like I think I played the sequel with Duncan. Yeah. And the only reason I completed it was because I was playing it with Duncan. Right. Okay. Yeah, I play it on my own, and then I play it as a group. So I flip between it, uh, but I kind of enjoy the whole. Like, it's just ridiculous, if you know what I mean. It, it's yeah. not, like, serious at all. It's just like, well, here's this. And explosions! Because <laughs> you, like, talk and... It, no, it it's serious, but on the fact of the psychopathic serious type thing. It's like, well, it's everyone's a psychopath. Psychos. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, have you seen the trailer for number four? Uh, three. I mean, number three. Wow, no. I'm skipping a whole well, like, fucking one. <laughs> technically, you've got the pre-sequel, what is like 2.5, because it runs along... It's the fourth game in the series, but yeah, pre-sequel is sort of like 2.5, would you say? Depends. Where would you put Star Wars? Well, it's set before... It's between 1 and 2, so it's 1.5, sorry. The storyline is, whilst number 2 is happening, that was also happening, but kind of right. before a little bit. So it's like 1, 1.5, 2 is the chronological order, but it goes mm. 1, 2, pre-sequel, 3. It's doing a, yeah, whatever that is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you've been enjoying Borderlands. Not really, because again, I prefer doing it as a team and I'm like yeah. level 4. Do you want me to play it with you? And or everyone else who's playing. No, because I've, I've, I don't feel like I'll get back into it that well. Mm. Yeah. I'm playing um, the Psycho. I think I played the Scion and on the two. The which? Yeah, I, I have all the DLC because I, I did kind of one point spam Borderlands completely. <laughs> so, see, I don't think I ever... I, I played... Two was the first one I played. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I played the sequel and I completed that one. I think I may have completed two at some point. Number one, I went to play and it was like, yeah, no, I don't like this. <laughs> no, number two did it better and so did number three. Yeah. Well, I've played all three, so I've done it once. I just can't do. I can't be bothered doing playthrough twos. I get into playthrough. Oh, two. I can't be bothered to play through twos. I get to playthrough two, and I'm sat there going, "No, I'm bored." If there was something different with the Star Yard, there was like other things you could do. Yeah. Well, then yeah. But only, it's just basically to get better gear. There's only a couple of games that really change it up, isn't there? I mean, you've got Near Automata. That's a good one for replayability. But then, there's very few others after that. Yeah, um, mm. I'll, I'll tell you what I was surprised to find on Epic Games recently. They've just released Heavy Rain for the PC. When you ex- you, wh- mm. Why are you saying you were surprised about that? I thought you were really thingy for that Well, one. I've already got... When, when Epic Games first came out? I've already ordered it, but it's, I was surprised it's because when Heavy Rain came out, yeah. it's like, what, five years later? they are finally released on other platforms. Oh, come on, the, the Heavy Rain. I'm sure Heavy Rain came out on PC not that long ago. I'm pretty sure it did as well. Well, it's only just come out recently. Where it, Heavy yeah. Rain originally came out on the Xbox when Rain came out on uni. So it's, yeah, it was on PlayStation originally, Heavy yeah, Rain. Yeah, Heavy Rain was on PlayStation. It was on PlayStation only. That's why I'm sort of like... Yeah, it's been a PlayStation only for like seven years. It's a good game anyway. Jason! I'm glad I picked up the... Um, was it? They did a remaster for the PS4. I picked that up along with something else. I can't remember which game it comes with. It's like a special two-pack 
set. But I need to play it again. I enjoyed I enjoyed Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain came out in 2010. Yeah. It's only um, just been released on PC this month. Hmm. So it's like nine years later. It could take a while, I guess. Um, well, it was meant to be a, a PS exclusive. Hmm. It actually wasn't. It was already had it planned for... for from what I remember, it was already planned. Well, yeah, sorry. Sure. I'm seem to be ranting a lot. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's completely fine. Um, There's no Ryan here. We can do what we like. Uh, yeah, we're okay. pretty much free well, to we're, do We're rebels. Yeah. So we're the Rebel Alliance, yeah? And they're the... Yep. Yeah. He's he's the Senate. He's he's Emperor Palpatine. These are not the... Let me see. These are not the material you're looking for. Oh, that's going to have to be the title of the episode now, isn't it? These aren't the gamers you're looking for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are not the Jedi you're looking for. But yeah, that's that line. Yeah. Ball. yeah. Cause so, um, it, that, so that was all the games we've played. So we, we've had yep. Badlands 2, Tabletop Simulator, and Badlands 2. Well, Division, Division 2. 2. Oh yeah, Division 2. What, <laughs> what did I say? For the, you said, said Borderlands, Destiny, yeah. Tabletop, yeah, said Borderlands, Borderlands again. Twice. Oh, I said Badlands, right? Oh, let's see, this is why we need a Ryan sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah um, um, so we can't give Ryan our other job, this is why we only kidnap him once a month. I know. Do you wanna... <laughs> so we're starting to talk about um, E3, is it? We can do that. I can start with some if you want. Okay. Okay. Go so, on then. Here's something that I'm sure you already know, which I kind of expected would happen. So they announced them with Destiny 2 going free to play. What's your thoughts on that? Hmm. I'm, uh, d- d- the more thing I had with that one, when right, when Ryan and me and discussed it earlier this week actually, was the fact they have nothing there for the players who have paid for this. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Because we've... They're not giving us anything, they're not giving us... Because we got the season pass. Cause, yeah, but... You, yeah, you, you've bought season passes, they've bought... Yep. And then they just go, we're giving it all for free, fuck it. It's just like, it's like Elder, Elder Scrolls did that, but look how Elder Scrolls did it. They turned around and went, okay, everyone who bought the game yeah. well, uh, um, basically got a certain amount of prescription free, I believe, when that I happened. It's like I believe, um, so, yeah. when TF2, you got, spe- uh, you got like special accommodations and weapons that were, because you've owned the game, you got special badges and stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. Saying... Look, this person paid. But, uh, this one's this person's paid. Here's a special accommodation to say, look, yeah. you paid. I'm not surprised Destiny's done it. To be honest, no. I, I think it's whenever we've played Destiny, we seem to burn out in Destiny quite quickly. Yeah. See, I think Destiny would work so much better if it had the same type of thing as Warframe. Yeah, I've been thinking the same as well. If it had the same um, release structure as Warframe, releasing content. Yeah. I mean, it should have been free from the start. They should have released content on a regular basis. And if there's anything we wanted to purchase, then we could do. They make quite a bit of money on Warframe. And to be honest, they should have followed that model. Warframe makes shitloads. Um, But yeah, I think Destiny should have definitely done something similar to Warframe. Yeah. Even... Don't get me wrong, they 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 would have started off stronger than Warframe did. Because Warframe started off as... Basically, a first-person shooter slasher. Mm. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, this and you just and then it's evolved into what it is now, where we actually have a starry yeah. line. We have this. Yeah, the tenno. It's... We know about the tenno. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. the tenno. The operators. Um, yeah. um, What's going on with? Uh, I forgot. Name. Lotus. Lotus. Yeah. And um, and you, each of the characters slowly developed as well. So yeah. also, like, why you, why you got do, more of a personality? Also, especially with like your ship artists and shit like that. Well, you've got the, those quests and stuff that explain, like the Reverend quest chain, for example. Yeah. You you run around Earth with a mask on, going, "Oh, this is what happened to him." Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we find the stuff. But then, see, the thing with Destiny would be, I, it, it sh- from Destiny One, it should have been free. Yeah. That Destiny been. 2 should have never happened. That should have basically been an expansion on yeah. Destiny itself to make it a larger world. I honestly agree. Um, as as the initial Destiny release had a strong frame, had a strong um, foundation, 
and they should have just built on top of it. They should have added more. They should have expanded it. They should have you you know, they should have done more. They should they should have followed akin to how World of Warcraft was when that initially mm. released. And to be fair, I even said it to one of my friends a while ago. Destiny should have had a subscription base for it straight from the start. That wouldn't have irked people as much. If they said it was a subscription service to get more content, people would have been fine with it. But the fact that they kept adding extra bits and then doing the microtransactions in, that's what's pretty much done them in. It's also, um, here's a new expansion for 30 quid, where it's basically added a new map. Yeah. It's basically, you've added a new map for the price of a game. It's pretty much, yeah. It's like, no. What does no, But this, this is, this, this, this. This little map, this one like little starry, is this much, and it's like no, it's not. It's yeah. It's not even this. But you you released half a game and sold me the rest of the half for the same price of a game. Yep. Then did it again later on during the year. You basically sold me a full game, costing me a game and a half. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, wait, wait, three full games for a full game. Just like why? If you're gonna do expansions, just it. Yeah. I, lo- I love the fact this has all come from it's going to free to play. Let's complain about how they do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's just. It's a good game. Type of side track. But it's just. It's a good game, but it's not worth it's, the money. It's been handled poorly, I, I think. Yeah, and I think since the whole breakup from. Activision, well, Activision was it? Yeah, yeah. I think that they're hopefully. They're, they're getting it back online. They're yeah. getting it back to where it needs to be. Activision did fuck it up. Yeah, they did. And hopefully they sort that out soon and Destiny will be back in its spot to um, go, ha, 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 we're going to bully you well. Yeah, pretty much. can only hope. <laughs> can only hope, but if they're listening, um, we own the game, we bought it, we bought your DLCs and everything else, can we have something else, seeing that you're going free to play? Yeah, that's it. Right, um, I think that's enough for the Destiny run. <laughs> let's... Um... That, that's the... Oh, let, let, let's see what Ubisoft brought out for, um... Uh, let's see what someone brought out. Anyone. Who wants to start a game? Pick a game that got announced in E3. Stay, go on. Uh, we'll, we'll riff that one a bit. Oh, what can I talk about? I'm very intrigued by the Blair Witch game. I'm not really much for horror games, but I like the way it's, it's see, been I've shown. I've never watched the films, and I've never watched... I've, I've not watched the I know it's a horror it book. Yeah. That was about it for Blair Witch. I, I never watched the films myself, but I'm intrigued by the game because of its design. Okay. It's very... Um, What's intriguing? It's in first person, obviously, but it's very reminiscent to how Alan Wake was, where you're using a torch to look around and everything. Oh, okay. And then you've got, like, mysterious stuff coming after you. So it's very akin to that, but it's also more I like... I don't like um, the image they've got on the website we're using to look at it, because I'm looking at the picture right at the top of it where it's like... Yeah. The clouds above a tree. I'm assuming they're trees, and it's got the shape of like a stick figure. Yeah. In the middle, because I'm looking at the stick figure when I'm looking at. It, I'm thinking the clouds are moving. It's like fucking fucking with my eye. It's messing with my eyes, man. What's it? It's kind of hypnotizing. I really don't like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's one of the ones that I found interesting, but I don't know. I'm gonna wait and see on that one. Um. See, Matt from. Um, who announced that? Who announced that? Um, that was Microsoft, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in the so Microsoft. The thing. Microsoft, the, the thing that's kind of got me for the Microsoft is Age of Vampires 2. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to have a remaster. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm just re. I'm, I'm literally. I didn't. I'm, I'll be honest to our viewers here. I am, I've not known what's going on at E3 at all. I have literally been quite busy. Yeah. So I am literally reading through the list as we're speaking, and yeah. that, that I did not think that would come out. I, to be honest, I didn't. I thought they would okay. kind of overage vampires. Is, no, they um, done once for a bit. The fun thing, the well, the funny thing with Age of Empires too, it's got still quite a strong following, mm. especially on the multiplayer side. And of course, and some of them have asked for a remaster it, for a long time. It is a good multiplayer game. It's, a, it's horrible on your own, but it's good as a multiplayer. Yeah, so they've done a definitive edition now, which mm. adds a new campaign as well, which is what they've shown mm. during the announcement. Oh, that's good. So, um... See, uh, the game I definitely can't wait for, though, that was announced by Microsoft is, my, is uh, Minecraft Dungeons. Yes. Because you are Minecraft. You are Minecraft. I'm a Minecrafter. 
It's basically. I've played um, Starry. I've played. I I play modded Minecraft. You name a Minecraft, I played it. Yeah. It's basically Minecraft on Diablo. It's basically Minecraft yeah, it's... beats Diablo. Mm. I love it. I love the yeah. idea of it. It's very, very, very interesting concept. Mm. Um, and I'd love to drag four people into the dungeons. Yeah, and I'd, start I'd happily join people. Beating that way through everything else. Yeah. Well, at least it's going to um, be a slightly different thing than let's build a farm, let's do this, then. The, there is dungeons and stuff, but it would. It's kind of like different worlds and stuff. Where. It, but it's, it's the way the combat's going to work, I think, is going to be more interesting because if you actually looked at the trailer for. Um, yeah. Minecraft. For dungeons, there is there's definitely going to be classes. We can see mm -hmm. that. It's how them classes are going to work. How are they going to bring that class into Minecraft? Because don't forget, you don't have standard Minecraft with magic. Mm. No, you don't. No. You, you have bows and arrows, but how they're going to ad adapt well, bows, be... the bow and arrow, the sword combat, the shield combat, the tank, the guy in the big daft armor that you see in the trailer. How are they adapting that? Yeah. And I'd love to see how that also... Ch I can see them trying to bring it into Minecraft as well. They could do. Which I think is going to be really interesting if they do kind of do that. Where it's like, well, we're going to have these classes for Dungeon. Can't we not have these classes for Survival Minecraft? Yeah. And let's see how people deal with it. Yeah. Let's see how let let's see how this guy who wants to be a Minecraft survivor who uses magic yeah. survives. Because at the moment it's just very this well server. vanilla Minecraft. It does. Oh yeah, vanilla it. is very straightforward. Just run along, do each there is achievement the, as you go along. The whole magic thing we've done many times in the what's that thing that we oh, use? Bottomy. Um, like we've done Bottomy. We've done blood magic. The, Okay, blood, blood uh, magic, I did witch magic. magic. I did witch's magic at one um, point. I've done bits of magic. Um, there's other magics. There's um, scroll magic and everything that's been added um, on with... Matt um, played as ancestral magic. Hmm. Um, I believe ancestral was adaption of... I, um, I, I forgot which thingy magic that was original. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was basically... You teleport around the world and build... Things using altars and starlight and stuff, a bit like blood magic. Okay. Oh, you're you're on about lunar magic. Mm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, that wasn't part of anything else. That was that's its original thing. It was right. that. But yeah, um, the modded Minecraft is just ridiculous. It can be anyway. Oh, there's there's right. endless possibilities with it. Once the mods but, um, gel let's together. Get, let's get yeah, you, you kind of have to fix the mods, but yeah, but let's get back to E3. E3, let's not talk about fucking Minecraft forever. Cause, yeah, you know, it's, I don't think Ryan It's a topic that, it. um, <laughs> it's an extensive topic that could lead on to many, 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 many things. Especially with and you. And at the end of this podcast, we'll be yeah. sat there talking about nuclear physics. Yeah, especially yeah. with you and Frank. We'll just leave it at that. Leave Frank out of this. <laughs> L leave Frank out of this oh. before Frank nukes your house. You will as well. <laughs> um, here's something that uh, we can talk about then. Now, Square Enix um, did their part on the conference, and they had a few things to say. Uh, more specifically, the Final Fantasy VII remake is looking pretty good. Again, as I've said a, a bit earlier to um, our co horses who have escaped us, and I have locked one of them up today. Yeah. Um, I... Final Fantasy X is where I got in, and I tried the ones beforehand, and it's yeah. like, no, I can't. Th I don't think they're that good. Number ten's the better one. You like it? I've done the exact same thing with Borderlands. I've started, yeah. I started way down the line, and then when I thought, oh, I like the story of this, I need to find out what's actually happened since the beginning. It's like, no, these games are pretty shit compared to the well, newer ones. Final Fantasy, it's just, it's the whole thing of I literally. It's like watching, let's say, Iron Man 2, then watching Iron Man 1. It's, yeah. well... Because it's like, I've noticed with the hangover, depending on what hangover you've watched, depends which the first hangover you watch, that'll be your favourite. Mm. Yeah, it will be. Um, Because the hangover story is the exact same thing in all of them. But no, yeah, it's... <laughs> well, with Final Fantasy, it's just basically, end of the world's gonna happen, 
well, or something's bad's happening, we've got to save the world. But then yeah. the world... That's like most games. And then are. it just goes into a different dimension. And it just works on that. It's like 13. Um, I got, what, 20 hours into 13, and I got bored because mm. it was just running down the corridor for 20 hours. And then it... That was the problem I'm, with I'm 13. I'm going to pull something out of here. I, I didn't know Sega was still alive as a, like... They are, company. just about. I, I thought literally they basically sold the Sonic thing off to uh, Nintendo. No, they're, they're still making games. They're generally just a publisher nowadays, so... Because they pre they um, publish some of the Creative Assembly stuff, so Creative Assembly do... Um, oh. I do didn't know Sega War, still so. owned the rights to Earthworm Jim. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That was an awesome game when it f- on the Sega. Mm. Was it Sega what it was on? That's the only Sega drive I remember having. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, um, Sega's still about. They're not the biggest they used to be, but they're still about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Echo the Dolphin. Oh, I might actually get the um, Sega during the mini-, uh, mini console coming in September. I wonder if the <laughs> Tales game is going to be uh, like Tales of the Warrior. Or Zestro or whatever. Oh, the tale, the tales of Arise. Mm. Is it going to be like one of those games? Mm. It's yeah, yeah. It's going to be um like Tales of Sphonia. It's it's one of them Tales games. Oh, okay. It's not like a Telltale. It's not like a Telltale game. Telltale. No, no, yeah, Telltale's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's Telltale. I'm telling you now, if you want anything Telltale, you get it now before it leaves. Mm. Um, but yeah. That, that we talked about that because uh, Minecraft Starry. I believe is leaving. Um, or was it Badlands story? It was one of the stories. Is leaving um, it, to download it now because it will no longer be available on Steam. Oh, I'm not or, sure. Which on one. Epic Gaming or GOG.com or any of them, I can't as they will all be disappearing. They're all gone. Um, but yeah, so another Tales game. I don't mind. Say so I don't mind Tales games. It's just it just takes a while. That's all. <laughs> Yeah. T- 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 tale games are one of them things where you you have to be that person who likes to go everywhere, do everything. Yeah, it's an exploring game. Um, yeah, it's an exploring. It's an exploring tale. It's an exploring tale game. It's an exploring um, free roaming general game. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I've completed quite a lot of them, and my favourite one so far has been, and I could never play it again, and I've played it countless of times, is Tales of Phonia. That one I we played, played that as a four times. player. Because we played it with yeah, Ryan. Yeah, we played that all together. On the <laughs> you, me, GameCube? Ryan, and um, yep, GameCube. Um, yeah. And the 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 um second version of it, the expansion for it was um expensive because it was rare. Because mm-hmm. not many people would have it. It's amazing how many tail games are actually finger. <laughs> well, I noticed that the Ubisoft stuff is basically more of the same, pretty much. Yeah. More Ghost um, Recon, more Division, more For Honor. See, the the thing they announced for the Division 2, though, was the DLC for bringing New York back, wasn't it? Oh. Did they? I don't know. I didn't watch that conference. I know that, um... I know Watch Dog Legion sure. was announced. Yeah, I don't get why they did that, because... Was that announced there and made really big after, or was it made big beforehand and announced there? I think it was just announced and then made big after. I don't know. Because... I'm pretty sure before that weekend I knew about it already. Hmm. <laughs> so what are the plans to do? Bring New um, York. Division's going back in, I believe, one of the DLCs back to New York. I, I read that, and I can't hmm. remember where I read that. Um, I'm going to have to look this up. I'd be okay with that, to be honest. Well, it'd be nice if... I like the idea, because the, the going back... Because don't forget, New York's where it all started. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. New York is the first division. You know, say you've got Division 1 and 2, it'd be nice if you could just switch between them. Because it's one big storyline. It would be, yeah. But I'm pretty sure it linked both my games when I started Division 2, though. Hmm. See, thinking? mine didn't. I could be wrong, though. Uh, mine's found flashbacks to Division 1. Um, like, echoes and stuff. Because hmm. um, uh, I found a one where there's an echo. Uh, what was it? There was a division agent from New York from the first, one of the first responders. Yeah. Uh, and it was his take on what happened. Yeah. Um. You, you, you see, though, that's not flashbacks. That's actually what happened. Because basically, 
New York kicked off, and then from there the division agents. It was meant to like we kind of got it under control, so then the division agents kind of broke up to get all the stuff done, and now. Oh, yeah. Um. I just sent you the link for what we're talking about. Ah, oh, there it is. So it is yeah. So it, what it was announced in E3. Was it announced in E3 then, or? It looks like it. It looks like it was announced, but they didn't make a thing of it until after. Probably they announced, oh, we're going back to the original New York. Yeah. But I don't know if they're keeping New York the way it was in the game, or they're going to try Updating going, it. it's, it's stabled a little bit more. It's, I would say it's probably the, a bit more stable now, because... Yeah, I hope it is. Well, we just it's, spent the entire time getting the Shade Network back online, for two. Yeah. Well, we've got it back online for New York. I mean, um... Washington. For Washington. The one in New York was perfectly but, fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's been connected to everyone I now because we've got the, sa- the satellite up. Oh wait, yeah, uh, I've got that far. You haven't got that far yet. I don't think. Oops, my bad. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, what was it? <laughs> EA and EA Sports is basically more of the same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. EA is pretty much always going to be the same. Yeah. It's never really going to. Here's be a new Fever. Different. Here's a new rugby game. Here's another battlefield. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, the, the the only other game that actually caught my interest, apart from the big one, was um, it wasn't um, who was it? Who was announced it? Who announced it? Where are you? E- EA Spot, the Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, the that looks interesting. Star Wars, Jedi. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I hope they do it. I'm hoping for the old Repu- like something like the Old Republic. Oh, uh, okay. A lot of people are really. Because, yeah, the Old Republic's the bigger game. I, I, I loved Old Republic. I, don't get me wrong, I didn't get that far in it. Yeah. But I loved just walking around exploring stuff and mm. checking stuff out. Because the detail within Old Republic, even though the graphics were not as good as it is now, obviously. Yeah. I preferred that. Well... I, did, I, I wasn't there to play the game, I was there as a, like, well, a fucking most of the Star- yeah. tourist. <laughs> well, most of the Star Wars stuff, but to be honest, the only one I really played is because I like the Lego games. So I've mostly mm. played the Lego versions of most things. Well, when it comes to the Star Wars games, I was pretty late into them. The ones I played was probably Force Unleashed. I never really played mm. in Old Republic, but I do appreciate them for what they were. At the time. I started playing Old Republic. I know I know a bit about them. And there was, Old Republic course... and Unleashed, they the well, they're on different levels. Yeah. Because Unleashed was a good game, but for a completely different reason of why Old Republic was. Yeah. It, Old Republic brought out was what it was meant to be. It was that. It was done. Yeah. Unleashed did the exact same thing. I do hope for another Unleashed because I actually want to know what happens to him a bit more. Yeah. Because after number two, it kind of died. Uh, was it the same guy in number two? I can't remember. Mm. really can't remember myself. I'm not sure if it was the same person. I can't remember. Oh, God. Ooh, new Fire Emblem. <laughs> Nintendo. I was, just look- <laughs> uh, I was looking at the things. Why Why did Nintendo announce Sword and Shield? Well, not announce, but reveal new stuff with Sword and Shield. They should have done that beforehand. They should have done, really, yeah. Anything oh, else? The yeah, anything else? Yeah, new, the new Pokemon games are Sword and Shield. Everyone's taking the piss, saying, "Look, now we're gonna get Sword and Shield, Bow and Arrow, Spear, <laughs> Pokemon Gun." Yeah, Pokemon Gun, Pokemon M6. There. <laughs> well, let's see what Nintendo's got. Two Legend of Zelda games. Yeah. Zelda's really big for them at the minute. True, it is. It is Zelda is one of their staples. I, I, but then you go through that. And look how like how bad Mario's died down. Well, they haven't got. Yeah. There isn't a Mario game. Super Mario Two Maker. Yeah, there is Super Mario Maker Two. Oh, and I know it's Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Tokyo get at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020. Um, yeah, and you got the Luigi's got his own game again. I actually wouldn't mind playing the Luigi stuff. I've not played any of the Luigi stuff because I kind of feel like it's a Resident Evil almost pisser, like piss take. Oh, okay. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm not that fond of Resident Evil. But... but no, I like... I like... See, I, with the mansion... On the N64, I like the mansion. I did like the Boo mansion as a level. Hmm. It was kind of fun, having the boos running around. 
What? Why? What? What? Why? Why is um Dragon Quest Builder Two only coming um coming to North? Have we already got it or something? I'm not sure. I don't know if we have. I oh, don't is it only releasing to them? Okay, well, I'll find out that at a later date, and I I will I will like moan about it at a later podcast. <laughs> yeah. Because um, how long are we into this now? Uh, We're about forty-five, 45 minutes. minutes in now. Eh, that's not bad of a time. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've talked about the most um, of the oh. Well, we've covered most of the... At least bits of it. There's one big game which we haven't spoke about yet because yeah. I think this is the one we'll probably talk about a bit more because even I, who haven't watched or watched any news or read up on any updates, know about this game. Yeah. And um, it's only one reason. And I'm like a giant fanboy of his. It's Lord and Saviour. <laughs> Lord and Saviour! <laughs> talking about Keanu Reeves. And it's not Fortnite, guys. You, you stick a you gun say. in his hand and he'll kill anyone. We're talking about wit. <laughs> and stop bullets with his hands. Yeah. Yes, we are talking about... Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yes. I, I'm not going to say his name because I couldn't pronounce that to save yeah. my life. Uh, okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, so that's he... Cyberpunk 77. Uh, 2077. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Um, he appeared on the Cyberpunk 2077 released during the Microsoft conference and I have to say that's probably my favourite moment of what I've seen so far. Yeah, I saw the... If I'm honest. Didn't he come out and say something? No, um, what happened is he came out, he like said hello or something, and then um, someone in the audience shouted to him, goes, you're breathtaking. And then Keanu Reeves is like, he's like, no, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here's fun little fun little fact about that. The guy that heckled him, that said you're breathtaking, um, the studio, um, CD Projekt Red, are actually going to give him a free copy of the collector's edition of the game. Wow. I wish I was there. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, I would have said a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's on their Twitter feed, and um, yeah, they're going to give him a free copy of the game, which I'm really, you know, it's perfect that's, PR. That's if them, they can really. find him. <laughs> for all them people now going, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the... Um, they would have had a register of people like Ethan. Yeah, they would have done. Yeah, the, 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 all you have to do is anyone who was in that conference go, that was me. But yeah, um... I, I doubt they've sat there and gone, he was in this seat, in this place, no, and he no. looks like this. Yeah. Uh, Unless you've got him on camera. <laughs> that guy shouted that! But no... I, 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 no yeah, that wasn't me, because I don't look like that guy. But no, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it does look interesting. Yeah, I'm intrigued That's by the game. coming out. Early next year as well. Yeah, some, it's early next year, about April, I think. It you notice that the robot hand looks a lot like that other game then? The, um, the game. Oh, it begins with D. Divine Mankind? No. Oh, um. Deus Ex. Yeah, the Deus. Yeah, it's very similar to Deus Ex stuff with um, Adam Jensen. Yeah. Jensen? Jensen? Adam yeah. It looks like, that uh, looks like a, that cyber stuff. Similar, sorry. That cyber look looks like Adam Jensen. Yeah, it's very similar. If you know what I mean. Um, we'll see. But yeah, I'm April sixteenth. Yeah. Step into the future on April sixteenth. Is this mean they're going to release it on the day it's meant to like or whatever's meant to happen? I'm not sure. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the game. No, I don't know too much. Oh no! About it says here, believe it or not, um, and to, and he announced the official release date was April two thousand sixteen. Yeah, so he did actually release the. Yeah. They actually gave us a date. Yeah, like they gave time. us a date finally. <laughs> Not like a Valve date where it goes. Here's a game! We're gonna bring it out of this date! Seven years yeah. later. Uh, at least it's not. What was that game that was announced in E3 for like two years or three years before it even fucking came out? The original Division had like two or three years before it came out. It was announced but then it didn't come out until like two years later. Yeah, at least they managed. There's quite a couple of games like that. Well. No the... Man's Sky, I think, was the same. Well, at least the well division did have a few hiccups here and there because it was a new game. But didn't Anthem do it? Yeah. Um, Anthem was announced, and Anthem was announced in one E3, mm. then was shown in the next E3. Yeah. And then was like, I'm sure it was still in the next E3 after. I'm not sure. Uh, what was the Cause game? Because they just took a long time to do that, and it's not even finished. Well, <laughs> it's like the Fallout games. Well, it's pretty much dead, isn't it? They release it way too early. It's like, here's yeah. Fallout. We haven't worked out the bugs yet, but here's Fallout. Here's uh, the worst thing about Fallout, though. It's always the same stuff. 
because they use the same engine and they can't be bothered rebuilding it from the ground up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. See, this is why this is why I had ho- high hopes for Fallout 76. Uh, what was the thing? That- Fallout 76 was the online multiplayer save its goddamn life type thing, mm. which they failed. Yeah, it failed as a game. <laughs> Oh, an entertainment piece. Uh, we could probably. Oh, d- please, d- yeah. please don't tell me EA just only brings The Sims for Island out because of something like Love Island. Well, looks uh, that's the only Sims game that's on the list. Yeah, I'm hoping that's all it fucking stays as. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Sims, The Sims needs more, but not more maps. Is it needs more character based shit? Yeah. I like the whole thing of okay, we've got the aliens, we've got the vampires. I want werewolves. But we've already got ghosts. I thought there was werewolves. Werewolves were in number three, they're not in number two, number five. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Um, um, I want wizards and that. I want magic back as well. Oh, the magic, the supernatural packs and magic packs. Yeah, I want all the spooky stuff back. I want. So don't bring out Island. Don't, because I fuck it. Because I'm assuming they assume everyone who plays their games just sits down and watches Love Island and. But no. Um, I noticed that this. Watches fucking poop. I noticed that Microsoft's bringing out the next Horizon game. I don't mind the Horizon games. They're kind of fun. The, But if you've played one. Horizon 4. Yeah. Um, Forza Horizon. I like it better than the other. The Forza games. The Forza games annoys me. But I like the Horizon versions. Yeah, What's Bleeding the... Edge? I don't know about that one. I'm not sure. God, there's so many games I actually have to like, look up after this. I'm assuming 12 minutes is going to be something like fucking... You've got 12 minutes to complete the fucking game. I can't remember. But no, I will, um, I will probably get... I, 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 I assume this because I, I own a game that's got a similar title but no yeah. i will probably end up getting AV. which is like 60 seconds or something like that i will probably end up getting <laughs> av2 definitely if people are getting it because that'll be a good multiplayer game to have again um but we've already talked about that i think we've covered everything e3 ways haven't we um, borderlands like which you got the lego star wars danny that's up your alley which lego star wars is it? oh lego star wars the lego star, star wars. wars the skywalker saga Ooh, okay so yeah, I got a new Star Wars, a Lego game, potentially. Uh, you. How how has the Lego Star Wars games been going recently? I like anyway, the, is it getting better. Or I like the, the complete or, edition. Kind of. I got the. I like the first two. Is it really the complete edition when they bring out a new one? <laughs> well, no. The what they did is they did episode one, two, and three separately, and then four, five, and six separately, and then the complete edition is one, two, three, four, five, six. Before. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Before seven, eight, and nine came out, and Leo Ren and whatnot, yeah. the Lyran Ren series. Is it the Lyman? The person for 789? I swear to God, I'm going really far off subject here because I've just got things in my Steam mailbox. Yeah. And I went to look at it, and it's all the same card from when I played Tabletop Simulator. <laughs> Flip the table. W- what am I? Am I only good for flipping the table here? Didn't give me one other thing, and now I have, now I got no more drops. Yeah. I literally just got... All my drops are one card. I scroll down and all my other friends that are playing have all got different cards. Oh, that reminds me. I've got uh, something from Don't Starve as a free gift thing to give to someone. Yeah. But that's, yeah. Uh, I, that's just a side FIFA note. 20. FIFA 20. No. <laughs> FIFA can die in a fire. Why not? Why Why not FIFA 20? FIFA no can problem. die in a fire. I, I, I'm, I'm, didn't the last FIFA game that come out, didn't that? kind of backfire on them because everyone kind of kicked off about it because it was like it's the exact same as the last one it's like i'm sorry if they're you all the exact same this? of each other yeah, yeah have, no, have no, you no. only just realized it's the exact same like, it's oh, exact sorry same every four part. years they update the, the from a slightly they update the roster every so often no 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 it's but not necessarily the I roster like... but the engine gets upgraded every few years but it's because we've gone from ps2 to ps3 to ps4 yeah. I also think it's because from the last one to the recent one, I'm, I don't even know what, which one would be the recent one, FIFA, FIFA 19. 2020 or what, FIFA 19? Did they one every don't year? Don't normally do it a year ahead? Wouldn't it have been 2020? Or it, the FIFA 20 is the it? next one. No, no one they release, the year that it is, they release the name of the, okay. so it's this year. For some reason, I always had it in my head that it was always like a year ahead. They somehow. make the FIFA 19 for this year, and then when the season ends... Sports-wise, they'll 
put the characters in for 20, basically. Because yeah. do, re- do you really have to announce a FIFA game? They know it's coming. It's just basically, here's another... But yeah, for you, the last FIFA game, they kicked off because I think it had every game mode the last one had and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... And it was like, uh, I'm sorry, but in that, most FIFA games, what other game modes are there on a FIFA game? I don't know. The only one I've, um, the only FIFA game I kind of enjoyed was FIFA Streets, because it was more trick football than. Oh yeah, that was like trick football. I like that one. Um, that wasn't that bad. That, that was like playing um, Rocket League. <laughs> Rocket League's fun though. <laughs> yeah, Rocket League is fun. No, but that. The, the that one that one game of FIFA that was yeah. the one that was like the Rocket Street of FIFA. <laughs> it's like it was. It's like playing Friggy. It's like I have a FIFA game. I have Mario Football. I'd rather play Mario Football. <laughs> yep. To be honest, um... because Mario Football you get special abilities. <laughs> you do. And it's fun. <laughs> uh, the other thing. Uh, well, two takes of doing Borderlands and the Outer World. I just clicked on the Outer World, and that looks kind of interesting. I'm assuming um, the, the the cock up of my my um, okay, maybe Alexa not. thinks she's intelligent and she's trying to get involved in this conversation. I am sorry, audience. But no, what was it? Um, well, the Outer World seems to be going on a Fallout route. So maybe not. I, I have one other question. Yeah. I'm assuming Fallout 76. St- Alexa, start. Because I can see you just trying to light up. <laughs> I'm assuming Fallout 76 Nuclear Winter is an expansion? Probably. Or DLC? Um, Nuclear Winter is supposed to be, as far as I understand it, a battle royale in Fallout 76. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm not interested then. <laughs> as far as I understand it, I don't know too do, much do about know, it. If I'm in honest. the last week, I've actually wanted to play COD. What? What? I wanted to play COD. Why? Because got... because they got prop on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we get a free... <laughs> and it looks amazing. Didn't we get a free copy of thingy in last month's bundle? I have no idea. I might play it. <laughs> no, we got a Call of Duty just to play. Blizzard in the last bundle. Or this bundle. Uh, just 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 to play. Just to play prop on. That's all I'll play. I wonder what's the because their prop on looks amazing. From what I've seen. Of their prop on, as you you're that prop, you can spin the prop, hmm. so you can make it look at the better way. So if you took a lamp post, you can turn it yeah. so that the lamp post is actually facing the street, and you can also make duplicates, hmm. like a duplicate of yourself behind. So they they all go, well that's not normally there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, yeah, because you remembered the map, dum dum. But hmm. because I can leave clones behind, you're gonna be like. That's not normally there, that's not normally there, neither is that one. Which one's the real him? Because I'll probably lose life if I shoot the two fake ones. It's like, <laughs> you're thinking it's going to be like an alibi kind of deal. Is it alibi? I'm hoping... Well, see, I, what I've seen so far is people's Facebook videos of it. No, but uh, is alibi so the watching... one that creates the clones on Siege? Um, which game are we on about here? Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. The alibi. The one that puts the clones. Yes. yes, she can do the clones. Yeah. She's the one with the holographic versions of herself, which can easily be spotted if you have um, special grips and shit on your weapon because it doesn't appear on the other weapons. Yeah. Um, I would say IQ would be able to tell the difference as well. Yeah, IQ could tell the difference, but if you stand on top of it, she's not going to be able to tell. Yeah. <laughs> she's definitely one there, that's a fake one. <laughs> IQ's dead! <laughs> <laughs> How did IQ die? Um, I love how I got me. How? She's she's the clone. <laughs> Standing with the clone. Yeah, Yeah, that's that's how Alibi that works a lot, you know. You What you do is you put it somewhere they can shoot it. Yeah. So they'll shoot it, run away because something's tracking them. Yep. You stand up, get in the position, make sure you're pointed roughly in the same angle and stand there. They come down the stairs or around the corner again and they carry on thinking that's, that's, that's it. The clone. That's the clone. We don't need to deal with that. To be honest, that's what yeah. I do think about. Alibi. I've done that once. I've done that once. And someone came along, walked up behind me and I'm stood there going, no, please, no, please, no. Shut off. Shut the hologram thing on the floor and then carried on. And I'm still stood there and I'm like, he didn't notice. Punch. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I need I've to play. That it. I need to play that game with you guys at some point. I've got it installed now, finally, but I need to play it. Oh, good! I'd have to re. I don't know if I've 
installed it, uninstalled it at the moment. Because it's on two yeah. separate hard drives, 100 gig is each, and I deleted okay. off one of the hard drives. Okay. So I've got to figure out which hard drive uh, it is. That's the thing where Ryan normally... Ha- well, Ryan will have to delete this. Um, how long does a podcast normally last for us? Oh, well, about an hour. It's about an hour. We're at an hour now. Yeah. So we can tie it up in yeah, a time we yeah, we're, we're pretty good at the minute. We're, we've done well. We've yeah. done well, lads. Woo. We, we've tied up the Ryan. He's in the basement still. The Duncan's occupied with other stuff. And Darius is yeah. on a Hitman mission. Yep. So, yeah. Um, I think we've done pretty well. We have. I, I'm going to pat us on the back now. And Ryan can have to delete this out later. Because if he doesn't, hey, yeah. he'll just be in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Um, But yes... It was really good. Yeah. I, f- I feel like we have missed things for E3 and hopefully um, we probably Ryan have, can but we could put them in the notes. Well, E3 is so. going to take multiple podcasts due to the fact that there's well, just so much going on. There's more, there's more of a thing of... Yes, it's great. I've got... Just before the podcast, Ryan sent us the link for game listing and new games and a, 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 yeah, a, a, yeah. Um, that you may have missed. And I'm going through it. It's like... And I'm reading some of it, and it's like, I don't know what some of it is. And when you click the... It, some of it has links, some so you click doesn't. the link to see what it yeah. is. And it's like, it's like I, I don't... I really can't watch the video at this point. So... I've, I, I, Cyberpunk, from what I've seen, and I've not seen the trailer for it, just still images, yeah. looks crisp, looks beautiful. I've even seen memes come out already where it's him in that game. Yep. In Matrix and what else was he in? John Wick. No, in Game Farm. Oh. There's uh, three versions of it, and it's like I Cyberpunk's the newest, and you've got him in the Matrix series. Matrix in the middle, and then he was in something else beforehand. Okay. I can't. Where remember. he just looks like pick. He looks pixelated. He looks like a 2D pixelated character, and remember. someone's just put a meme on it going. This is why we invented better graphics, just for him. <laughs> I have to admit, in each one, he doesn't look that bad. Yeah. He does look a lot better in Cyberpunk, though. <laughs> please, please, Ryan, keep that in. I loved it. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, okay. Now, he's going to have his own little shrine next to Frank. <laughs> might, have to let him out. <laughs> might have to let him out off the thingy soon. Yeah, we I have to let him out to let him edit. We do. Well, that will just give him a PC in there. <laughs> but then if I give him a, if I give him a PC I'll have to give him the internet connection if I give him the internet connection he can ask for help so mm. eh, we'll just release him it's easier yep. yeah okay so we we done well yep. uh, well thank, thank you well we're not done like that lip ladies gentlemen we are not done like that we end this correctly in the form of a Ryan yeah. oh we've got to do the whole like subscribe YouTube Subscribe, likey, and hit the bell. No, let's let's not do that. Let's tell you what. If you're listening to our podcast, I'm sure there's a better one. Go a bit further down. (laughs) (laughs) And if um, I'm sorry, I've just told you this at the end because I really need the views. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, do you want me to close it? Alright, so... Um, no. Yeah, yeah you close it, General. Okay. I opened so, you to close. This is the way I like to start this. That's fine. So, um, so yeah, you've been listening to a mixed cast from the Immaterial Gamers. Uh, Masamuni113, and now to and myself, the General. Um, so, yeah, thanks for listening to the Immaterial Gamers podcast, and we hope to see you soon, or hope you listen to us soon. Of course, you can catch our um, podcast on... YouTube and Spotify and I believe I iTunes believe it's on Apple point. as well. Yeah. yeah, iTunes I believe. So yeah, thanks everyone. So um don't forget Ryan doesn't like you to do this. Kill each other Roombas, please. <laughs> okay. I've been asking for the last three uh, podcasts. Just start doing it. <laughs> Alright. That'll be it now. While you are get the Roomba to clean up. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's clap out, yeah? Three, oh, clap out. Two, one. <laughs> right, done.